All right, today we've got the 120 grain Nosler ballistic tip. We're going to shoot it at 100 yards, 275 yards, and 375 yards. Those may seem kind of like random distances, but we, there is a there's a method to the madness. When you get down and look close, you can see just the straight line and then it starts to open up about an inch, inch and a half in, inch and a half is where it first starts to open. Yeah. I think it must be the tip that's gone down. The red tip goes down and you have that chunk that goes straight up. Yeah, and almost backwards a little. Yeah. That little curly cue. You still got a pretty good wound channel until about 10 inches. Yep. It look like about 10 is where we're, it's only about half as big as max, but it's still real good. And you still see copper fragments. Those big copper ones are out at about, what, 13, 14 inches, 12 to 14. Yep. With a few lead fragments being left behind right in the champ. And the main projectile must have gotten to 19 or 20. But the vast majority of the damage is done between inches 2 and 10. That's where it left the majority of its energy. So like the first time, it's about two inches in that it starts to open up. You see the ballistic tip do a very similar, it's in the 100 yard test as well, where that breaks off and goes to the side. You see the copper fragments early. Yep. Then you get a bunch of lead fragments from like four inches to actually all the way to 18 inches. I guess a lot more of them are kind of concentrated in the first 10, 11 inches though. A few pieces of copper jacket from 11 to 13 and a half inches again. Penetration though was even more. We had about, about 20 inches or so before yep. at 100 yards. And at 275 yards here, we're at 24 inches. When we shot the gel at 375 yards, we rotated the blocks around 180 degrees, but the 275 yard wound channel is still in there along the top. Well, first of all, it was a heck of a shot. 375 yards, you were maybe an inch and a quarter from dead center of a six inch block, very nice.